So I think I'm going to cut out this piece of fiberglass so I can get back in here and change the uh, remove the stanchions and tow rail and stuff. I don't know if it would be possible to do it if you don't remove this. It's just so tight in there. Since I removed this board, you can see where the water has been coming in behind the stanchion, I think. And then I'm thinking what I might just do is some snaps along here and some fabric to cover all the stuff afterwards. And, oh man, so much better access. I can easily get to these screws now. It would have been an absolute nightmare before. Snowing. And this is why I'm not living on the boat at the moment. What surprises and wait back here. So these are the Cape Dory chain plates. I believe they're like mild steel and they're glass bin. That's that was important. Okay, I got ordered some bronze and they'll be bolted. I'll just bolt it right next to the existing ones. And then we can just remove these old chain plates and brass in the holes. So today we are removing the, the tow rail. It's leaky, there's a lot of hardware and screws to take off, but it's gotta be done. So you can see maybe water is getting in here. But you can see kind of the construction. We have the deck where it's, uh, glued and it's it's uh, bolted down into the the hull and this area along along here there's a flange but i think there's water coming in through there and then of course all of these so unfortunately i think what the best thing to do will be to kind of grind all this smooth and get down to the glass and i'll put another layer of fiberglass over that i'm up in the bow here uh, removing nuts one at a time and they're they're really long um, bolts coming through here, so it takes quite a while. And I can't get a socket on most of them because they're pressed up against the hole. This is not the fun part of it, but we'll get there. We got a whole lot of screws to remove, and none of them are easy. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, something else stuck. Okay, so some of these, uh, the, the screws are nice and clean, or you can clean them up really easy, but some of these are like, they're filled in with epoxy. We found the method. Yeah, they're bigger because those are the cap shrouds. Oh, okay. All right, so the tow rail and rub rail have come all the way off. That was like a day and a half of work, maybe, maybe two days with some volunteers. A lot of these are really hard to remove. So now we're thinking about glassing this over. Some of these sections look good, but then as you go along, it's, it's opened up in here. I'll show a diagram with the hall joint configuration. Basically, there's like a little bit of a flange where it sets in there.
<laughs> kind of cool. There's a lot of holes to fill in this boat. Here's the crack. I'm gonna fill this in just so we can round it on over nice and smooth. This has been probably getting a ton of water in my boat over the years. Fortunately, it's solid up until here, so it's not getting in the core. Force it in with the cutting knife. filled hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of holes today there might be one or two i missed i'm gonna go give it one more once over but that feels good should stop getting water down below and it's supposed to rain later tonight so we'll have a storm so that should keep the, give the bilge pumps a break they've been pumping all day last couple days so to get the glass to go over this edge here I'm going to round it over. You can see it's kind of a sharp edge. I already started a little bit, so I just put a, got a round of it in here. Let's give it a shot. Maybe one last bit of deck hardware. Today is a big day for the deck hall joint. We're gonna try to glass it over with a, a six inch strip of fiberglass. So I just kind of roughed it up a little bit with the grinder. And now he's uh, spraying, off, spraying it off with the air hose. So now it's acetone wipe down. Racing the rain here. So the surface is prepped. We've rolled out to about 10 foot sections of this uh, fiberglass tape, mixing up, mixing it good. And uh, it's, it's pretty, it's, what's about 55 degrees now, you think? Yeah, it's getting cool. Getting cool enough, that'll give us plenty of time. We're using the Fast West 205 Fast Hardener. And I've got this 10 foot section laid out. We'll do probably three of them with a little overlap. So far, so good. Go set it on here. You just hold that and I'll kind of walk, walk my way towards you. Just got the first layer of glass over the tow rail. It wasn't too bad getting that on there. It's kind of hard to get it, you know, really press it in there, but I think we got a good enough bond. Once the rain goes away, we'll get another second or third layer on there. Now we are sanding the tow rail where we put the glass on a couple days ago. We didn't have enough time to put all the layers on. I really wish I had put some peel ply on there because now it's just so hard to get that glossy texture uh, roughed up without sanding all the way through the glass too. Uh, so the next time we'll definitely do it all in one go uh, to get all those layers on before it gets it uh, cures. But that's a good lesson learned. We have this three layers of glass and peel ply. Pretty much figured out the technique. I'm pretty proud of that. I think it looks pretty good. We'll get a little smooth with some fairing compound and paint over it. Stairway's coming out pretty good too. It's been so nice being able to just walk up, two hands, free. Oh man, the boat's got icicles. All right, we've ground out and glassed. The last through hole I need to patch. I'm really getting a hang of it. This one came out pretty fair. Just a little bit of maybe compound in there to bring it out. And uh, I'm gonna put a layer of peel ply on there and then maybe wipe off some of this stuff. And now the hull should be watertight. Got all the holes filled down here. There's plenty more on the deck to do though. Now I'm gonna try to fair this up. I'm gonna give this uh, tunnel fair stuff a try, but it needs to be a little warm so we're 
heating her up. We're just sitting around 40 right now, but this, I think it needs to be 50 degrees. So that should bring out the temperature. They say it doesn't have to be completely precise. You don't have to weigh it or anything. You just kind of visually do it. Looks pretty good. And you just mix until it's green, which is kind of nice. So you know when you're red, when you're done. Okay, and this is about the color we're aiming for. And then we'll take it over here. And a little bit does kind of go a long way. I think I got more than I needed there. Fill some more. I'll do both of these. All right. You were on. Now I'm moving on to fair in this little area in here. This is gonna look nice, I think. Oh yeah, we're good. These little radiant heaters, they put the heat just on your project. Great. Okay, last repair to do. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that was pretty easy. <laughs> Deck fills, I don't really use them. They're just one more source for water to get into the boat. So I'm taking them out. Then just making these wooden plugs about the right size and pounding them in. Seems to make glassing it up a little easier. So start with one big one and then we'll go small to big. But you could say you did three holes in an afternoon, right? Three holes in an afternoon. We started like plus probably we, after. Plus we filled the antenna holes at four and we uh, fared the... Yeah, we didn't start like in the morning. We started like at noon, right? Yeah, I have trouble going when it's cold, but you're welcome to come out here. What? You got a four inch hole. This little knife holder should make some good teak scrap. Three layers. That's very, very okay. well compressed. Stop yeah, stop out there. there. Yeah, and just cut it off. Yeah. Yeah. Today I'm going to be uh, glassing over side number two of the deck hall joint. Hopefully this will go a little smoother. We got all the our little table prep to go. I'm gonna start uh, scrubbing it down with acetone. And uh, George made me a little scaffold there. We'll see if that helps. I think it's gonna be an all day project. I think that our enemy is gonna be the wind that's gonna try to blow our stuff away. And then the sun is kind of, epoxy's gonna kick a little faster today. See all that dirt we're trying to remove? So we kind of set up an assembly where uh, one person would cut the, the cloth and another person would mix the epoxy and I would uh, lay it out on the on the hull. Worked pretty good. All right, this was really stressful. It's been like in the 40s for the last month and the day I decided to do glass, like I'm measuring the temperature, it's like 80 de 79 degrees on here and I'm using the fast hardener so it just started kicking like crazy. But I picked up the pace and I got it all except for one little section. This section hardened before I could put um, the extra layers. Uh, so it's not tacky anymore so I'm gonna have to kind of rough that up and then just put, put two more layers on top of that and we'll be good. So it went a lot faster I guess that's the, the good thing about having it warmer. You have to work really fast. That is cured solid. So this is the section I was a little too slow on it's glossy, so I need to rough that up again. But we got peel ply on the rest. And that is, yeah, that was quick. That was like an hour. It's fully cured. 
wish I could reuse this stuff. And then I might kind of just kind of feather off some of this stuff so we can get ready to ferret. And I think the tool to do will be the flap disc. It's kind of worn down, so it's not quite as aggressive. Good. I'm just gonna kind of feather this out a little bit and spread some fairing on there. I don't think it'll be too bad. So yesterday, Dave and fared all of up to here. And I he couldn't quite finish it because it started raining. And I was a little worried I was gonna mess up the finish, but it looks like it hardened just fine. That's the good thing about epoxy. I've been rained on quite a few times while I was working with it, and it, sometimes it gets like a milky white color, but it always has hardened up eventually. So I think we're, we're good. And this was another section we were working on when it rained. And this, you can see how it, it kind of turns a a whitish color when it gets water in it, but then it's, it's kind of gummy still. But I think it will harden up. We were trying to over drill these holes so I could uh, put this chain chain pipe on there. You see all the holes we've filled up here. I'm gonna go ahead and grind these back. So it's pretty crazy how many holes are on this boat. Just uh, old antennas, pad eyes cleats that have been moved around but we're getting them all filled in and she's going to be real watertight now this is butyl tape on the bottom of the uh, chain pipe we started sanding on the deck hole joint I think it's looking real nice. Thanks for watching. This project's kind of taken a while. Um, I have to give a real special thanks to all my volunteers who have been helping out. Uh, I don't think I could have gotten this done in time without you guys. Uh, Chris, Dave, Zach, Larry, Rick, George, and Ty. You guys are awesome helping to get all that deck hardware out, grind off the old gel coat, and get the glass laid up. I'm not going for perfection, but it looks great. It looks way better than I thought it ever would. And I think it will make a huge difference keeping the, the water out. I remembered uh, sailing a couple of the passages in the Atlantic when the waves just got real big and we're kind of washing over the side of the boat. You were just like, you'd look at the inside the boat, like at the side, um, and there would just be like a waterfall of water coming down every time a wave hit, hit me. And so it, I think this will make the boat a lot drier and kind of help keep the, the mold a little more under control. So I need to get the boat in the water by May, which is kind of fast approaching. So I'm starting to kind of lay out all my projects and figure out priorities and things. I think we'll get it done. It's just a ton of work. So a lot of progress is being made on the bottom right now. Uh, we've done a lot of the stuff on the deck. I think I'm gonna be moving into canvas in the next couple of weeks. The chain plates and Dodger are also real close. So keep an eye out for those videos in the next few weeks. I'll see you guys next time.